Hi, and many thanks for joining me. This is going to be the last painting video for some while. <laughs> it's number 10 in the series. I didn't think I'd ever make 10 painting videos. and I've been very pleased at how they've been received. Many of you have expressed your sort of concern that you're surprised you can watch a half hour painting video and enjoy it. <laughs> Anyway, this one is going to be slightly longer. There's quite a lot going on in this video, and I'll tell you all about it in a moment. I must make it clear that my painting videos are not intended as instructional videos. It is simply me trying to improve the appearance of my boat. I know that the way I go about things is not necessarily 100% correct. I've been very fortunate in that my boat hasn't had a lot of rust spots. I look around at other boats and I see rust spots on the roof, around windows, things of that nature. But I've been very lucky, I've had nothing like that. And the painting work I've done in the past it hasn't peeled or anything. So I've achieved a good finish in one sense, but not in another. Using the roller last year gave that sort of orange peel or cratered effect. I've rubbed all that down and I've got rid of that. So what you're going to see in this video is me finishing off a few areas around the deck. I then go down to the slipway to paint the roof and paint the sides. There are several trips down there, as you will see. So this work was actually done in May, early May into mid-May. So it's some months ago now. <laughs> but um, I was very pleased with uh, how things went. What I should say is that I did watch some professional painting videos they don't tell you all you want to know. They show you things, but they don't go into detail about what roller you should use, what brush you should use, that sort of thing. I did consult someone about what size brush to use, and I was advised that a width of two and a half inches, that's about 60, 65 mil, would be quite good. I hadn't appreciated that there were layoff brushes that you could buy. So I was using a brush of the right width and it was quite deep, you know, quite deep that way. But I've now bought a layoff brush. Um, this is 100 mil or four inches wide. Look how narrow it is. Very, very different to what I was using. And the important thing when you're rollering and laying off is to do it quickly. A professional boat painter seems to do a side of a boat in 20 minutes to half an hour. I mean, obviously it will depend on length, but they get the job done quickly. One of the mistakes I made was that I only put masking tape across the top of the windows. I was doing the sides of the windows with a brush and taking my time over it. I should have masked the sides of the windows as well, taken my brush or taking my roller I should say right up to the edge of the windows to make the laying off with the paintbrush that much easier but I didn't do that. It is very much a learning curve and I've learned quite a lot and I think the way you apply the paint with the roller is also important. I was overlapping the paint at the wrong time. When I was doing another section of paintwork, I should have done it alongside what I'd already dealt with, and the strip where there was no paint, I should have filled in as the last part of the, of the rolling exercise, <laughs> but I didn't do that. So I'm hoping you'll enjoy watching this. Apart from painting, you will also have the delight of watching a boat be put back into the water um, from the slipway using the hydraulic trailer and tractor. That's just a, an interlude to the rest of the <laughs> painting video. I also have some special visitors at one point come to the boat. The other thing to consider is that I'm working in the open. 
I have to take the boat down to the slipway. I suppose in a way I've been rushing. Not rushing in the sense of when I'm physically doing the job, but rushing in the sense of condensing the job into a few days rather than spreading it over several days or weeks and taking my time. I go to the slipway and I want to achieve as much as possible in one visit and so I crack on. I have been given some very good advice from one of my viewers about when to paint and how to go about things. He knows who he is, so many thanks. What I've been doing, I've been preparing one day and then I've been painting the next as early in the morning as I can. I've been told now that it's best not to paint after 10, but I have been keeping an eye on the weather. The weather I had was warm, it was windy, it wasn't necessarily the ideal weather and I think I did get caught out as the morning progressed and the the boat heated up. But I am mindful of that and I think next time I do any improvements and I will be doing some more work on the boat at some stage, not sure it will be this year, I will be better prepared and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to learn about painting in the same way I'm trying to learn about the engine and have a good understanding of that. So I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. Well here I go again. I'm about to put the five odd ballast bricks which were on the left side of the engine bay into the right hand side. <laughs> I think they're better suited there. I did have a look at the back of the boat from a distance and it's fairly level with the bricks on the right hand side. So that's what I'm going to do now. I don't want that rubbing from the hose. I'm going to start by painting the hatch doors. They've been white for quite a long while now. I'm now painting the two steps that lead into the boat. I had to stop filming yesterday as the card on the camera I was using was full. I hadn't expected that because I do look at them regularly to make sure there's always space, but obviously I got caught out. Anyway, today I'm gonna to finish painting the hatch doors and the gas locker cover. I hadn't intended to do that as it's not seen because it's underneath the seat cushion, but I thought, well, yes, might as well get on and do that. <laughs> I'm only using a one inch brush today. I think it will be easier to go around the hatch doors and so forth rather than the two inch brush I was using yesterday. Well, the truth is the paint didn't cover very well on the hatch doors. I could see light blue beneath it as I was painting over it and um, <laughs> I don't think I've done a very good job. It's the sort of thing I say to myself, I will revisit, rub it down and do it again. <laughs> but I doubt I ever will. At least it looks better than the white. I'm now just going to do the threshold of the door and that will be it for today. I've just remembered I need to paint just above the gas locker on the left hand side. I'm now painting the drainage channels around the deck boards. Well that's about it for now. I've finished that little bit of touching up that I needed to do and I'm going to call it a day.
Well, I'm on the slipway to paint the roof. I'm going to start by using some 320 wet and dry. I'm going to do it by hand. I'm not using any power tools. Just give it a light rubbing over. When I finish rubbing down, I'm going to apply the paint with a roller and then use a brush. I'll do part and then I can see what the finish is going to look like. If I don't like it, I can always start again and do it a different way. I have decided that I will use the electric sander. I think it might be easier. I'm going to use a 400 to start with and see how that gets on. And if that's no good, I'll change to the 320 that I was using earlier. And by the way, it was a cheese top roll I was eating for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I've realised there's a little pointy bit on here that is uh, digging into me. I need to file that off and things will be a lot better. But I think that's it for the moment. I've rubbed down the top of the roof. Was hoping to get some painting done today, but I think it's just too hot. The roof, I'm sure you could fry an egg on it at the moment. I was hoping it would cool down, but... Uh, <laughs> In fact, today wasn't meant to be a very hot day, so um, the forecast wasn't right. I was expecting it to be a lot cooler. So I'm pleased with how I'm getting on. And um, I'm going to tidy it up. I'm going to clean it up with the white spirit and get it ready for painting. Whether I can do a little bit later when, it's, uh, when the sun's gone in, or whether I'll leave it all till tomorrow, I don't really know yet just see uh, how the rest of the day develops. It's coming up to 4.30 in the afternoon, so there are still a couple of hours of, uh, or even more of, of daylight. We're working towards the longest day, aren't we, at the moment, so uh, the nights are getting longer. So, uh, no, not the nights, <laughs> the evenings, the daylight <laughs> is getting longer. But you know what I mean anyway. It's another beautiful morning. I need to crack on fairly quickly. I was hoping to take off the centre lines, but the way they're fitted on so they don't come off, I can't actually get them off. So I just have to hook them over. Well, I'm getting on reasonably well. I think I'm learning a few tips for the future and to pass on. There's a spider on the camera. There's always something, isn't there? Go away. <laughs> well, I've done down to the um, where the centre lines are on the boat, 
which must be roughly halfway. I think it's probably a little bit less than half. Fortunately the sun hasn't been blaring down. It's trying to come out again now, but it's been fairly reasonable, not too hot or anything. One of the difficulties is with the hand rail, because you can't take your brush smoothly off the roof at the edge of the boat. You've got to do sort of beneath the hand rail to the edge of the boat and then do it the other side as well. So it's like you've got to do more than one movement. You can't just take your brush smoothly, say from the centre line of the boat and take it smoothly off the edge of the boat. I am doing my brush strokes sort of left to right or, or right to left or whatever because I'm working down the whole roof of the boat. But from up top it looks like a patchwork quilt. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It does look as though I've gone this way, that way and every which way. But I haven't, you know, I have done it in the way that I think it's meant to be done. When the sun is out there's quite a shadow beneath the hand rail which does make it difficult to see what you're doing. Um, there must be some better technique maybe than what I'm doing with the hand rail there. I did look at some YouTube videos before I started just to refresh myself from last year and I couldn't find any about painting a roof like mine or even painting a roof. What I did find was the process of using a roller going sort of each way as it were up and down and then across and then laying off with a brush but I didn't find anything specifically to assist me with doing the roof. Get a comparison of the old and new here. Or should I say the new and old, as I showed the new first. Just going to do some touching up from this side. I am now working from the side of the boat. I'm actually finding it a lot easier and I think it will help when I do the fittings on this side of the roof. Those are the fittings that support the plank and the pole and that sort of thing. So I'm getting on a little bit better and of course I'm not kneeling. <laughs> that is a great benefit. <laughs> Well I've finished working on this side now so I'm going to get on the roof again and work my way back down the other side and soon it will be done. Well that's the roof done. <laughs> It warmed up since I last spoke to you and the paint was drying as I was putting it on. And I've used a whole tin, and if you can see here this is uh, empty. <laughs> I used a brand new tin even though I had one already open. I had a feeling I would need to use a whole tin and maybe a little more. But the, the back end here hasn't gone so well because it's much hotter and the paint is drying and it's difficult to spread it out with a brush as you're meant to. The back part is of course under the canopy when the canopy is up <laughs> so it's not seen but I do like to do it as good as I can. So um, I don't know, I haven't got a watch on, I don't know what the time is. I know I've been going three hours, four hours, I'm, I'm really not sure, I will check. But um, I think now is time for the, uh, the well-known cheese topped roll and a drink. I just uh, need to uh, clean my brush up <laughs> and uh, I'll set to. Paintwork always looks good on camera, I think. <laughs> it didn't look too bad there, <laughs> but when you look at it close up, <laughs> you think, oh, heaven forbid. My next plan is to have some non-slip strips on it so that when I walk on the roof which I try and avoid as much as I can but if I am going to walk I would like to have some strips which are non-slip just to make it that little bit safer. 
I made three non-slip areas on the roof alongside where the solar panels were to be fitted. I used a strainer inside a muslin bag for sprinkling sand onto wet paint. The paint did dry very quickly and that's where the blotches are. So I had to repaint in those areas so the end finish was not quite as smooth as I would have liked it to be but I'm very pleased with how it worked out. Well I'm back on the slipway. Whilst I'm here I want to paint both sides of the boat if I can. It might be that I only get to do one side. I've got to rub down on the starboard side. <laughs> boat is moving away from me. <laughs> I've got to rub down on the starboard side, which I'll do today. It's going to be too hot to paint the side today, but I want to get it prepped ready for tomorrow. I can do other smaller painting tasks today, so that's the plan. <laughs> so rub down today and hopefully paint the starboard side tomorrow. You can see here the orange peel finish from the roller, which is what I'm trying to get rid of. lovely to <laughs> get out of that gear. <laughs> well that was fairly quick. It's amazing what power tools can do for you isn't it? So I think that's looking a lot better than uh, it did before. <laughs> so it's nice and smooth now. I've taken out all the little bubbles that were caused by the roller and I've got a little bit more prep to do around the bottom of the windows which I'll have to rub down by hand and then I'll just sort of tidy around and get it ready for painting in the morning. I've got some other jobs to carry on with in the painting line so uh, I'll be doing that in a minute. I am intending to get another pole. This one's got a little bit of rot in it here. Apart from that it's pretty sound. I thought though, as it looks such a mess on the boat, I'd paint it up until I get a new one. But uh, I think its um, integrity isn't uh, damaged or anything like that. It's just a little bit of rot at this point. Yeah, I've mixed it too well. It's very wet. But it would have been a bit thicker than this like milk. I haven't commented yet on what a wonderful day it is. <laughs> it is really glorious. Been a lot of activity on the water today, not just uh, narrow boats, but paddle boards and kayaks, that sort of thing. I've never seen it so busy. So that's the main part of the sanding completed. What I'm going to do now is put a fresh disc onto the orbital sander and just go over one or two areas where I feel the finish can be improved. There's still some small raised bumps here and there so I'm going to crack on with that now. I'm giving a second coat of paint to the non-slip treads that I've made. I've done them along here in readiness for the solar panels to be fitted to the roof. I 
I've just had an accident. I was resting the pole on the fence, on the wire fence, it was poking it through, and it slid out, and <laughs> now it's covered in grass. It's a rather blowy morning. Rain was forecast. I think that's changed now. So I'm in two minds as to what to do. The good thing is it's cool at the moment, which is ideal for painting. Don't want it too hot. The sun is now trying to come out, look. When I'm ready to start, the wind is blowing the boat all over the place. It's so difficult, isn't it? Because if I, <laughs> if I don't do it now, the weather could change. It could be too hot, too cold, wet. It's dry and it's cool. So that is important when you're painting. So I'm just gonna give it my best shot. Since I filmed this, I've realized my rollering technique is not correct. I should apply the paint with the roller, leaving a small gap between the paint I've just dealt with and the new paint, and then join the two together, and immediately afterwards use my brush to lay off. I think you can tell that the paint is very dry. That means the boat is warm and it's very difficult to brush it. Well, I've come underneath the canopy as it's rather windy outside. I was getting on reasonably well from the painting aspect. Last year I just rolled it, which left that sort of cratered, bubbly effect. I've got rid of that. I think it is one of those things you learn as you do more of it. And obviously I don't do enough of it to get uh, perfection but it's certainly looking a lot better than it did last year, which is a plus. The negative is that it's so windy that little insects are blowing onto the paintwork, bits of cut grass and all that sort of thing. Sometimes they will just brush off once the paint is fully dry. And the temptation obviously is when you're painting and you see a fleck go on the paint, you want to pick it out and then that just spoils the finish. So it's very, very difficult. I now need to paint beneath the windows. I've done a little bit of touching in elsewhere, as you will have seen. So I'm going to carry on with that, get that done, <laughs> and then uh, have a think about what next. I'm not using the tin of paint I opened this morning to do the sides. I have a tin that I opened yesterday, I think it was, or the day before. I'm going to dip my brush in it. I know I shouldn't, but I just need to get on. Um, I don't think it will matter for where, <laughs> for where I'm working. <laughs> As I already had the little brush in my hand, I thought it would be a good idea to paint the top of the gunnels. Last time I did it with a roller, which is pretty quick, but with the wind and everything else, and I just think I'll quickly use my brush and see how we go.
it really is very windy. I've come under the canopy again in the hope that you'll be able to hear me. Before I started painting this morning, the hopper windows, they're the bits that tilt at the top, were rattling around like I've never heard before. My original plan was to paint this side of the boat and then turn the boat around and sand down the other side. What I hadn't thought about was the wind. My research is normally for rain and sun, you know, I don't want it wet, <laughs> I don't want it too hot. But I hadn't figured on the wind, so I need to check what the wind position is for the rest of the day and tomorrow. But this just feels as though it's set in. It really is excessively windy. And we know from other walks and things that I've done that Yelvatov does seem to be a windy location. Some of the pieces that look as though they're stuck on aren't actually stuck on. <laughs> I'm just brushing them with a, a tissue and they're coming off. And that's very important. You don't want to touch the paintwork with your fingers or anything like that. Oh, look who's arrived. The wind is so strong it's just blown the tripod over and it wasn't fully extended. <laughs> Amazing isn't it? You'd think the wind would blow around it rather than uh, knock it over. As you see I've turned the boat around it's not a particularly good day at the moment. It is trying to rain. It has been spitting a little bit. I'm going to crack on with the sanding on the port side. So let's see how I get on. Well that's the side rub down with the sander. I need to rub by hand the areas beneath the windows. Need to give it a little bit of a wash down. The cratch cover is very dirty on this side. <laughs> I don't get round to this side because of the way I moored in the marina. It's the wrong side to uh, come and clean down properly. So I'll just do some quick washing down then I'll rub down beneath the windows. Well, that's the rubbing down completed. It's quite a good day to paint in some respects because it's not hot, the side of the boat hasn't got hot. <laughs> but it is very windy and yesterday all sorts of bits were attaching to the side of the boat. There's not actually a lot of um, bits and pieces blowing around in the wind today. So um, I'm just going to check the weather forecast because it was meant to rain about 11 or 12 which I think is the time now and see if rain is likely. There are some clouds around, quite a lot of clouds. Not really rain clouds though I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> so um, I'll have a think and then I'll crack on with something.
It would have been better if I had masked off the side of the windows and then I could have roller brushed the paint right up to them. It would have been much easier laying off. Well, I'm not sure what you would have made of that. Those that have survived to the end, many thanks for watching. As I said earlier, I am surprised at the comments I've received that uh, some of you watched to the end and are quite surprised to have done so, having found the time gone very quickly. As I covered so much, the video had to be a bit longer than usual, but uh, the job is done for now. All that remains for me to say is keep safe and well. We're still in troubled times, unfortunately. Take care, look after yourselves, and bye for now.